Hello, I'm Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and I'd like to welcome you all today to a brief podcast interview with Rachel Siegel, author or co-author with Carol Yacht on a new book from Flat World Knowledge called Personal Finance. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sharon. Um, So I'm going to jump in so we can give our listeners a bunch of information or as much information as as we can about your new textbook, Personal Finance with Flat World. Um, Can you tell our listeners what made you decide to write a book for the Personal Finance course? Well, I've been teaching these concepts for more than 20 years, and in that time I've always marveled, in fact, even before that, when I learned the stuff myself, I've always been amazed at how bright people can make bad decisions simply because they don't grasp relatively basic concepts of economics and finance. And uh, I, I really feel that this material can make a difference in people's lives. Well, th- that's great. That's great. And I know when you, when you, when you wrote the book, um, you did some things with this book that make it you know, special or different than some of the other books on the market. Can you tell our listeners about that? Well, I tried to give students the very practical how-tos, you know, how to buy a car, how to buy a house, that is usually covered in this sort of text. But I tried to do it within the larger context of really grasping economic reality, for example, uh, really knowing what demand elasticity means and how that can affect a market or how that can affect you as a buyer or as a seller and really understanding the time value of money and how you can use that idea to make better decisions. And things like, you know, the difference between spending on an asset or spending on an expense or good uses of debt versus bad uses of debt, you know, using debt to finance assets rather than expenses. So there's a lot of, you know, the very basic material that needs to be covered in this sort of course, but I tried to put it in a larger context so that 10 years from now when a student actually goes to make a financial decision, you know, they're going to look up the nuts and bolts, but they'll have an idea of how to think about it, and I think that really is missing in a lot of the texts that are out there. Yeah, there's a lot of just memorization of terms and understanding processes, but not really grasping them and being able to apply them. And I think, you know, in today's, especially in today's uh, economy and and kind of the the last year of of struggling with with managing debt and personal finances, this is a perfect time for a book like this to to be published. Um, is Is there any kind of part of your book that you'd want our listeners to pay special attention to, maybe a part of your book that, of which you're, you know, of which you're most proud? Um, I think the first section of the book, which lays out some of the basic ideas of finance and economics, will be, is more user-friendly than that material usually is, and I think that gives students a good basis. Um, And I think the last section of the book, which really focuses on investments from the point of view of how they fit into your life typically and what they're used for and what they should not be used for, and uh, there's a lot in there on behavioral finance and how that might affect an individual as an investor, and uh, I think that's a little unusual in a book like this and uh, the feedback I've gotten from my students is that they're really thrilled to know it. No, that's 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 good feedback. That's good feedback. And it's good to kind of point our listeners in a place to kind of dig in and, and see if they can they can grasp kind of the differences in the added value of using yours and Carol's book. Um, and speaking of that, you, you know, and we're thrilled to have your book here at Flat World Knowledge, um, or thrilled to have had you publish your book with Flat World Knowledge, and you could have you could have published this with any of any of the higher ed publishers that are out there. Um, what made you choose to publish with us? I love the model. I lo- as a faculty member, I love the idea of easily being able to customize the text. And uh, more than that, from the students' point of view, I mean, I know my students don't read books, 
It's just not the way they get information anymore. And they can't afford it, really. They can't afford to pay, you know, a thousand bucks a semester for textbooks that they're not going to read. So if I want the textbook to be useful to me as an instructor, I want students to read it. And I just thought Flat World's model uh, was brilliant of having them be able to access the book in so many different media that are convenient for them. That's our that's our hope as well. We um, we're excited to to bring kind of a little bit more of a stu- student friendly um, textbook environment to students. And, and your book is is a perfect match for that for that publishing model. So we we do appreciate your choice, obviously, and hopefully our our listeners will as well. So with that, I'm, I thank you for your time, Rachel. I thank you for your for your time on your book and your time devoted to your discipline. Uh, we appreciate that, and uh, thank you to all the listeners out there who've spent a couple minutes with us learning a little bit more about Rachel Siegel and Carol Yacht's personal finance book with Flatworld. Bye now. <laughs>